Tomas, and in this video I'm going to be covering the dictionary get method. Okay, so the diction the Python dictionary get method, its definition. The dictionary get method is a method in which a key argument gets passed to the dictionary get method, and if that is uh, that specified key is in the dictionary then the method inputs the value associated with the key the syntax of the dictionary get method let me uh, the method declaration of the get method let me show you guys okay so here i declare the dictionary class which calls the get method and then i'm going to pass uh, a key and then you can optionally pass a value you don't have to but you can optionally pass the value and then as for the uh, uh, just to explain uh, the two parameters of the dictionary method one more the the first input which is the key that is the key dictionary that the get method searches for in the dictionary itself the optional value this is the op this is the this is the value output if the key is not found in the dictionary uh, then uh, the value defaults to none if no optional value is specified. And then as for the output value of the dictionary method, it outputs the associated value of the specified key if the key is in the dictionary. Otherwise, the default value none or the optional value that was passed as an argument to the dictionary get, gets returned. Okay, now uh, now that I've explained the syntax, let me show you. Guys, let me show a couple of examples. Okay, so in this first example, I'm going to show you a grades dictionary. So here, I'm going to just initialize it to different classes. There's programming, math, and science, and uh, which are the keys and then their associated values are the grades themselves of the class so then I'm going to call the grades dictionary I'm going to print out do a print statement I'm going to call it the grades dictionary with the get method and I'm going to pass in the programming key as a string and then when I run it okay there we go when I run it see it prints out its associated value which is 83 the grade of the programming class Okay, so in this next step, I'm going to show you um, uh, accessing nested dictionary dictionary key values. So this next example, okay, I'll open up a new cell for this next example. There we go, a new code cell. And then here's the I declare uh, an employee dictionary and i set the keys to identity one two three the three keys and then i'm going to so associate uh those keys with another with a dictionary so the value itself is going to be uh associated with these keys are going to be dictionaries themselves so dictionaries can be used as values and within that dictionary um i have a bunch of other key value pairs like uh, name bob age 20 profession programmer and i have similar for the other two keys Okay, so now that I declared it, let me print this out just so you could. Here's it printed out. And then uh, this code snippet declares a regular dictionary along with three nested dictionaries. Each dictionary can then be accessed by its corresponding key. Okay, so in the next step, I want to show how to access the elements of a nested dictionary uh, list. Uh, and then here I'm going to list the employee names. There we go. So I'm going to set these variables here like identity. Uh, identity one employee, identity two, and identity three employee, the variables I set, and then I'm gonna initialize them to uh, calling. So I'm gonna call here the employee dictionary, and then the get method, and here on the first parameter I'm gonna pass here 
the uh, the identity so which uh, identity one which is one of the keys and then here I'm going to pass an empty dictionary and then I'm going to call the get method again so this was to go within the, this is to go this empty dictionary is to go within the dictionary and then with, once you go within the dictionary you're going to call the get method and it's going to access here uh, the name key and I do that for the other two employees. So I'm gonna call. Uh, so I'm gonna get. I want to get the name of the, of all all three employees: Bob, Tammy, and Dylan. So here I print them out. Let me print them out. And see, we get the results: Bob, Tammy, and Dylan. So that's real. That's a really useful uh, way to ac access nested dictionaries within values. Okay. So in the next step, I'm gonna show the difference between the dictionary get method and the dictionary uh, key syntax when accessing elements from a dictionary so here I'm gonna declare an empty dictionary let me open up a new cell so here I said it uh, I'm going to uh, declare an empty dictionary variable and I'm just going to set it to an empty dictionary. And then on the next step, I'm going to apply the dictionary get method to the, to the empty dictionary. So here I'm going to print, uh, print out and call the empty dictionary with the get method. And then I'm just going to pass in some random key for it to print out and when I and when I run this see it prints out none because it uh, couldn't find it it's because it's an empty dictionary it couldn't find nothing so it just defaults to none and then the next one I'm going to show you applying the dictionary syntax to an empty dictionary which results in the key error being returned so let me show you that Uh, see how it prints out a key error when you use this syntax okay um, uh, cool I hope this uh, helped you guys get a better understanding of the dictionary get method thank you